In this video, I will explain to you how to find the lowest common ancestor of the two given keys, key 1 and key 2, using an easier way than in the previous video. Let me just recap what is the lowest common ancestor. If we are given two keys, MP and NO, for example, then there is a path from the root to MP. This path is shown here with green edges and the path from the root to NO is shown as with blue edges. Uh, now you can see that some portion of these paths are the same for both nodes and then paths diverge at node MQ. All the nodes from the root up to the nodes that we're looking at are called ancestors of these nodes. Uh, so, for example, ancestors of MP are Mo, MQ, P, and Lo. Ancestors of No are MQ, P, and Lo. Common ancestors of these two nodes are those ancestors, ancestors that are common to both of these nodes. Lo, P, and MQ are common ancestors. Out of these common ancestors, MQ is the lowest in the tree. So MQ is the lowest common ancestors of nodes MP and NO. MQ is the lowest common ancestor. How do we find it? We use the property of a binary search tree and we use this observation that the lowest common ancestor is the last node at which the paths were the same and then it is the last node after which the paths from the root, from the root to both of the nodes diverged. After MQ, paths diverged. So MQ is the lowest common ancestor. We're going to use the same uh, trick as we used in the function that is called find function, except we're going to pass two nodes to this kind of function. We're going to pass, pass both key 1 and key 2 to this function. For example, if we pass to this function key 1 and key 2, key 1, MP and NO are greater to LO, that means LO is not uh, lowest common ancestor, so we make a recursive call on the right child of LO. Then we compare both key 1 and key 2 with PE, they both are less than PE. That means PE is not lowest common ancestor, so we make a recursive call on the left child of PE. At this point, MP is less than MQ, but key 2, NO, is greater than MQ. At this point, we know that MQ is the lowest common ancestor. We can return this node up uh, the recursive, uh, up the chain of recursive calls and um, it will return MQ from our function. So how would you actually implement it? You need to have two versions. The first is a public version find LCA as it is given to you in the assignment um, to which you pass key 1, key 2 and the root. I don't remember the order of these uh, parameters but I think it is root and then you can pass key 1 and key 2 Inside this function, you need to call another helper function that will return you the result uh, that you're going to print out. And this helper function will be a recursive function that takes root and also it takes key1 and key2. And it is executed, implemented in the same way as find function, except it compares both key1 to the current, row, uh, current uh, pointer and key 2 to the current pointer's keys. Okay, that's it.